love the looks I'm getting. Um, I was just editing my vlogs and I realized I don't talk to the camera enough. I show a lot of scenery, never talk about what I'm doing. Today is Wednesday. I'm spending the day in the airport. Um, I'm in Santiago airport right now. We are flying from Mendoza to La Serena, Chile. So that's what I'm doing. I was also looking around the airport here. It has a really random selection of American mall stores and I kind of wanted to show them. It's, it's really strange what has been chosen to be brought to Chile and not just Chile, just to the airport. Um, I also, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I love the looks I'm getting because they've never seen a vlogger. This is so funny. Okay, number one, Bath and Body Works. And then Victoria's Secret. Why is that necessary? Swarovski and MAC Cosmetics. Love their American brand shops here. Okay, now I've got a board. Bye. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to La Serena. Actually, we're technically in Coquimbo. La Serena and Coquimbo are very close together. Um, we're in La Serena slash Coquimbo, Chile, which is on the ocean, as you can see. It's a really beautiful day. I think it's pretty much always sunny here, to be honest. My husband does some research here in Chile, and so I had lunch with some of his colleagues just now. We had seafood, of course, because what else would you eat in Chile but seafood? Um, it was really good. There's a fish here called rayonetta, which is just caught locally off, off the coast. It tasted super, super fresh. Uh, it was really delicious. And although it was a bigger meal than I'm used to eating at lunch, of course they have their large meal at lunch. Not used to that yet. I've only been here less than a week in South America, so. So right now we're at Puclaro um, and it's super bright and sunny. I need to get out of the sun because I don't have sunscreen on or even makeup. But yeah, I wanted to show. It looks really, really interesting. Hey everyone. We finally made it. We've had a few hours here. So I am in the little town of Pisco El Key. So I actually found a place to stay that's cabanas or cabins. And when I booked it, I didn't really know what I was getting into. I, I was actually expecting something really rustic. But what I, what we ended up, I mean, I was so shocked when we got here. It's so, so nice. It's like these modern little houses. I mean, I could live here, it's really nice. I'll show you around later, but right now you can see these amazing mosaic to, like area to sit. And then upstairs we have another area to sit that's a lot sunnier. Um, we have our own private saltwater pool. I mean, this is crazy. I had no idea I was booking something so nice. But right now we're going to go explore the grounds because they have a lot of fruit and vegetables, herbs growing here. Um, and we're here for three nights, two full days. So the next two days, which actually happens to be a holiday weekend here in South America. Um, it's like a May 1st is a holiday, so that was good timing. Um, so it's supposed to get really busy, I think, tonight and tomorrow, so we're gonna try to explore tonight while it's still a little bit quiet. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, they're actually growing fruit on these grounds. So we have pomegranate, avocado, oranges. Incredible. They also have green roofs, so they're actually growing things on the roofs of each of the cabins. These are lime. Uh, oh yeah, it's the limon de pica, I think. It's a special kind of lime that you can only get here. They have roses, daisies. Tree of Life and the woman of the Tree of Life and a butterfly. I love the art. Look at that art. Look at that street art. Yes. We're sitting outside having some pisco sours. They're playing mm. some old school Weezer. Oh, they're playing old school Weezer. It's dinner time. I have a goat cheese and sun-dried tomato pizza. With pesto. With pesto. With a view of the street where we, I'm so sorry I didn't catch it on camera, we saw like a 10 year old boy on horseback. He looks like he was riding home from school, it was amazing. He had a nice cowboy hat. <laughs> he had a cowboy hat. But he had it, a... it was genuine, he owned it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're just walking around. This afternoon I have a relaxing massage. I was promised a relaxing massage for one hour. <laughs> um, and then later tonight we're going on a, an astronomy tour, which hopefully, hopefully, there's a bus coming, uh, hopefully I can take some video. I'm going to continue walking now. Let's see what else there is here. I'm in the uh, night astronomy tour of an observatory and we're going to see about a billion different stars which I'm gonna try to catch on camera I have no idea if this will work so we'll see I feel like I'm in ghost hunters like the travel channel show ghost hunters <laughs> Welcome to day three in Pisco El Key, Chile. Um, I also consider this to be my last full day in Chile. Technically, I'm in this country all day tomorrow, but I'm going to spend the entire day uh, making my way back to Santiago for my uh, overnight flight tomorrow night. Um, so for today, not much on the schedule. Um, last night we did an astronomy tour, which was really, really great. Obviously, I couldn't really vlog that because it was in the dark. Um, today we're going to go visit a Pisco factory, which is the type of alcoholic spirit that they make here. I don't know too much about Pisco. I'm not like a Pisco connoisseur, so we're just going to see what the one down the street is like. And yeah, so let's go check it out. Check 
out these totally cool grapevines. <laughs> American oak barrels used here in Chile. <laughs> this is how every tour should end with a pisco sour. It's just lime juice and pisco that we just saw where it's made with this view. As you can see in the side behind me, we are staying at Sita. We have morning glories right outside. We're kind of on the property line, I think. There's actually an avocado tree up there, which I've been staring at the avocados every morning. Uh, no one comes to pick them because I think there's so many avocado trees around here that there's no need to. This is the main floor. There's like a terrace or porch here. Um, and then we have this lovely seating area are these incredible mosaics. Um, when I was in Chile a few years ago, I actually learned how to do mosaics like this. They use a very special kind of tile. It's thinner than what you find in like American hardware stores. Whoever planned this place out has such a, you know, mind for art, has such great um, like artistic abilities because I think Everything here is so well planned out and so well positioned. It's, it's really, really beautiful. Um, okay, so let's go inside. I'll flip around the camera again. Like I said, we've been here a few days, so ignore, <laughs> ignore the mess. There's some wine and all kinds of things. Um, but yeah, there's a sink. There's like cupboards, which look like they were pretty much handmade, custom made. They have these amazing kind of bamboo details that someone did. Again, like whoever came up with this was very artistic. Just open shelving, which I think is great. Over here we have the stove, of course. I think it uses like the space so well. Um, more of the matching cupboard with the bamboo detailing. Got her luggage and shoes over there. Um, but yeah, there's a little sitting area, painting. So we have these little stairs, which remind me of the Michigan lighthouses that I used to visit growing up. They have a wooden post up to a skylight. There's that tree shaped wooden post with a skylight. Hand painted, I'm guessing. Carved, these knobs, really pretty. This is the bathroom, the same bamboo motif. Um, first there's a mirror, as you can see, with these little tiles that look to me like they were actually from Mexico, possibly. There I am, hello. More of that bamboo style. The sink also looks to me like it's from Mexico. This is not something you would really find in Chile. I to say, outside they told us that they're actually planting um, things on the roofs of all these cabanas. So you can see that is clearly a work in progress in this one. Um, and then there's some glass tile set in, I don't know what kind of wall this is, just stucco, I guess. So the shower is actually very similar. Sorry again, we've been staying here for a few days. I've got some things sprawled around. Really fantastic detail of that shower. And back to the bedroom. Let's go in. The only bad part about this door is there's actually a pretty big step right there. The bed on the right, which, look at this headboard. The headboard was actually pretty much attached, I think, to the wall. It's almost like a picture frame, which is such a smart idea. Okay, so what I love about this bedroom, which I don't have in my own bedroom, oh my gosh, there's a towel here. Oh, okay. Um, so what I love about this bedroom is, well, first of all, they managed to put in a TV, which is really great, but um, it has a little vanity area 
desk vanity, which all it needs is a mirror to do your makeup. So cute, love the fabric, everything. Um, and then, take a look at this window. Again, I feel like this is a style from India, influenced from India. It's actually just, believe it or not, this is just plastic. Sliding glass door out to the private. I feel super spoiled. I just can never stay anywhere again, I don't think. Um, <laughs> but out to a private little terrace. Another private terrace. <laughs> with our own private pool and again the mosaics here are just incredible um, and it also has if you see over there to the right um, right over there are some crystals which it's this is a very metaphysical area they believe in crystal healing or a lot of people here believe in crystal the the power of crystals to heal Little ladder. Oh, one thing to mention, this pool is actually a salt water pool, which feels amazing. And I don't know if it's true, but we were told that it's a little hard to um, chlorinate a pool properly at altitude. We're fairly high altitude right now. Um, so we wondered if maybe the salt water helped with that. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. <laughs> I need to look it up. So this is the incredible view we get here in the terrace. I've been sitting here in the mornings and uh, it's very sunny here in the morning and it's really incredible. There is a outdoor shower with warm water right here. I was focusing on this because I love again the mosaics. I love this this little one. So that's the tour. What do you think? I mean pretty luxurious, pretty amazing. Pretty luxe accommodations. I mean, I don't know what else to say. This may be my last vlog from Chile, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed discovering all of this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to reply. Um, and you can subscribe to my channel for other travel videos. I also talk a lot about technology, and just other things that I love in my life. So subscribe if you're interested. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.